Hi everybody, my name is Graham Mossman from Intelligent Edge Group and today's 3 minute edge is MapReduce on the teaser. You may not have known that you can run MapReduce on the teaser. Uh, well you can, but there are a few things you need to get uh, sorted first. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that your Nateza box is up to release 6.0.5 patch 5 or later. Once you're there, you can install the IBM Nateza Analytics libraries and um, those are well documented, so I'm not going to go into them any further. Instead, I'm going to look at a piece of Java and this Java takes advantage of those libraries and it implements the word count example from Hadoop where you take a document and count out how many times each word uh, occurs in that document. Uh, instead of a document we're going to be working with a Nateza database. Uh, just let me show you that Nateza database at the moment. It's a file called uh, a table called word count input and it contains a bunch of sentences of varying number of words so you can imagine how difficult it would be to implement a word count using SQL. Uh, we're going to use MapReduce instead and from that Java piece of Java code what you do with Java is you get take the .java file and you compile and um, make it into a .jar file that can be run and that's what I do with this little script here um, and it can then be run with a script that runs and you'll see that um, the first thing it does is the map uh, side of things so it will go into the table in the teaser that I showed you and extract each individual word in the map stage and in the reduce stage it'll add up how many times each one of them occurs and the final result will be put into a Nateza table if we're lucky. Uh, let me just see if we've got that Nateza table now. Yes, we've got a new table with the output and if we look at the data you can see that for each word it shows the number of times that it's um, occurs in the input data. So there you go, that's MapReduce in the teaser. Thank you for listening.